Here we go once again. A blast of winter weather hits the Piedmont Triad. Temperatures varying throughout the viewing area, and we could see a mess for today's morning drive. Current conditions, latest forecast track, and a look at the day ahead starts now. But first, at 4:30, I want to show you some video sent in from overnight on University Parkway there in Winston Salem. You can see this will be much of the story: wet roads and some ice build up across the viewing area. This is from Mary Stutt. She is uh, heading up to Wilkesboro this morning. We'll check in with her as the morning progresses. With that being said, good Wednesday to you. I'm Devontae McKenna. And I'm meteorologist Brian Slocum. Thanks for spending part of your day with us. Yes, first things first, Mount Area City Schools and Stokes County Schools will operate on a three-hour delay, and several counties in Virginia are completely closed. That full list at WXI12.com. Yeah, definitely. We had some snow across our mountains in Virginia counties, about two to four inches. Mm -hmm. uh, but so far, I mean, the most wintry part of the storm came before midnight, so it was uh, rain and sleet during the evening. We saw it transition to some snow in parts of the area, uh, Greensboro, High Point. I saw some snow on the car this morning, so uh, we're still under winter weather advisory for the eastern foothills and the Piedmont Triad. Winter storm warning north and west. The uh, winter weather advisory goes through noon today. The warning goes through 4 p.m. just for to clarify things as we go through the first part of the day. Now let's take a look at radar. What we've done here is done a three hour loop of radar where temperatures. So not only can you see where the wet weather is, you can see how much temperature have changed during that period of time. They haven't changed very much. Pick a spot and watch. Temperatures have changed maybe by a degree uh, since really we hit midnight or so. So we're holding steady and that's a good sign. We still have uh, some time to cool things down several hours, but that has not been a, a trend as of yet. So as long as temperatures hang where they are, we're in good shape. I do think we'll cool another degree or two and that could allow some icing to develop as we have more and more moisture coming in. It is spotty and light for the most part. Uh, patchy drizzle and light rain will be pretty persistent today. Mountains, of course, a different story. You've evolved from that snow and sleet. What you've seen is already on the ground for much of it and then uh, changing to a freezing rain chance at all. This is a big, uh, massive storm. Uh, we do have some snow arcing from central Virginia. I told you that snow line was going to be close yesterday and then all the way back to the Midwest uh, where more of a snowy setup across the Ohio River Valley. Uh, winds are more east and northeast. That's good. And so we haven't cooled as much. We noticed that trend in the models yesterday, but east winds at 5 to 10 are going to keep conditions locked down. Also, the dew point, that's kind of where the floor where our temperatures can go at the moment. We can't really cool any cooler than we are now unless we dry the air out, and it really isn't any indication that that's going to happen as of yet. So right now, we're in fairly good shape. It's just going to be wet today and cool with very little movement in temperatures. I think our high for the day is going to happen sometime before before midnight will be locked in the low to mid 30s for much of the day. Now we're not done with this yet. The chance for icy weather will persist at least through about uh, 8, 9 o'clock this morning before we start to see temperatures go up. So we haven't hit the coldest part of the day yet. So stay tuned. We'll have much more on this coming up in just a bit. And Brian, thank you. For more information on closings and delays and also that updated forecast, you can check our website, that of course, WXI12.com, or download the free mobile app. 